Hey everybody, I'm Get Milky, and as the title suggests, it will be my upload schedule for the next couple of weeks, hopefully. So as you can see, as you can read from the title, it will be called Sparta Week. That is because I'm going to have a full week every day, one day. So, uh, I can't believe I've gotten this wrong already. Seven days, every day, a Sparta part. And in between those days will be some form of either Isengard or Britannia Let's Play, uh, which is good. This is kind of a mixture of the two, so for one, that'll be the week one really, so that'll be what I'll be uploading with my Sparta campaign. I've almost recorded seven parts, I'm going to go back and do that, and then you're going to have one for every single day. And uh, not only just that, I'm also doing the final end to my PC. As I told you guys in a short little video before, uh, which I'll link to you, I did upgrade my PC from my PC specialist one, I will also link that to you. Um, and I upgraded it with some certain parts. Now I have the boxes laid out on this bed uh, in the room where I'm currently not staying actually, but where my desktop is, as you can see there. And I will show you the new parts that I put into it, because from my old PC I only took certain parts like uh, my hard drives. That was about it actually, just my hard drives. So anyway, the first thing I did get was a new liquid cooling unit. It's the Corsair H80i. I chose not to go with the H100 because I didn't really have the room for my case. I don't actually have the box for my case, but I have a Fractal 4, Design R4 case, which is a silence optimized case. So that, of course, is the liquid cooling for one. The second one I've got here, right in front of me, Intel Core i7 processor. I'm going to try and put that down, focus on it for a little bit for you. This is the 4770K, and it is a four core CPU with eight threads, making it virtually eight core CPU. And that does really, really well, so I'm really happy with that. Second on the list, or thirdly, sorry, is the power supply which I took. Um, so again, I'm going with the same sort of power supply. On my other one, I had a 750 watt. However, this one is also a 750. This is the builder edition. I've used this before in my friend's build, and I really like the performance from it, so I decided to take it. So uh, yes, that's this one here. I'm very fond of it. Uh, it doesn't make any noise. The fan's quite good, and I was really happy with the price of it. So yes, the 750M. So getting on to the more important parts now, the motherboard, the main component, is now a Sabretooth, an Asus Sabretooth motherboard, a Z87, which is the new Haswell uh, range. That is a Haswell processor, by the way, and this is a Haswell compatible motherboard. It is also PCI 3.0 Express, so that's awesome. Uh, I really like how it's got the tough thermal armor on it. It's also got some additional fans uh, that I've not put on it yet and some extra cool stuff. But yes, so that's the motherboard there. It's also got a five-year warranty, which I think is just amazing. I can't really focus on it. There you go. Um, but that is really good and I'm really happy with that motherboard. And finally, but not least, the most important part was the new graphics card I got. Now this was probably the most expensive part, it cost me about £500. This is the GeForce GTX 780, Twin Frozer Gaming Edition by MSI. So as you can see here by the logo and the dragon, it is the gaming series that comes with an app called uh, the gaming app and you can actually overclock it. As you can see in the corner is the overclocked edition. Now originally I did get this because I wanted something awesome for recording. I wanted to play most games on the highest settings at 60 FPS with no lag while recording and this thing does the job very well. The only issues I'm having with it is I did initially get it for Roam 2 and Roam 2 runs terrible on it. And by terrible I mean I have to lower the settings and it's still laggy. Uh, that is not my graphics card though, that is entirely for one, driver's not optimized for the game yet, and two, a game not optimized at all. So that will come in time when CA fixes that. I'm not too bothered by it because I can still run the game, and as you'll see in my uh, prologue and campaign, everything is still quite good and dandy. But yes, that's everything done there. Finally, for my birthday, which was quite a while ago now, probably like almost a month, I got a new keyboard as well, which I was really happy with. This is the Corsair... Ooh, I don't know what it's called, actually. But it's really nice. It's a mechanical keyboard. It's got 18 mechanical switches. If you look in the description, I'll link the actual name to it below. It also has a USB thread through at the back here. And it's mechanical, as I said before. So you can, like, yeah, very loud. And all the keystrokes get entered down. Very soft touch because it's Cherry MX Red. And that is everything. And I'm losing my breath to speak. 
because I talk too fast sometimes. And there, if you look carefully in the screen, that is one of my parts to my Sparta campaign. I believe it is part five. So that's my Sparta campaign being uploaded. And that is going amazingly well. That is the new campaign which you guys will be seeing. I think I've kind of spoiled it because uh, I'll probably be releasing this before I release the actual campaign footage. Oh, oh well. You'll see this anyway tomorrow and for the next six days after that. But yes, I'm very happy with my PC build. That's it there. It's really quiet. I can turn up the fans, but it is really good. I'm really happy with it. Took a while to build uh, and get everything set up. And I'll open the door for you. There, this is not really the best way to feature it because there are a lot of cables in the way at the moment. I haven't really set it up perfectly yet. As you can see, this is where the noise dampening foam is. And it just sort of magnetically shuts when there's no cables in the way. And it does really well, so yes. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoy the content to come. I know I haven't been very active lately, but there will be a ton of new stuff coming. Uh, my new PC is great. The new area where I'm staying with my girlfriend is awesome. And uh, everything's going dandy, so yes. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to give it a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll be back to bring you some of my Spark campaigns soon, so yes. Thank you guys for watching.